Hello everyone, my name is Omega Toys, or Omega if you want to keep it short and simple. Today we will be taking a look at the Transformers Generations War for Cybertron Siege Spinister. What do you think I was going to say? Now first off, this is definitely one of my favorite figures ever. Because, I don't know, is it the colors, is it the design? I have no idea. Maybe because he's pop pink and blue, that really stands out to my baby eyes, I have no idea. But taking a closer look at this figure, it is apparent that the details here are crazy looking. I mean, he's got pants and he's got a shirt, he's got sleeves, he's got everything. He looks kind of generic for a robot, but at the same time really not generic. He's got a lot of screw holes, but what do you expect from a figure that's $20? He just looks amazing as well. He really shines from a distance and it's a big point in the collection, definitely. The articulation on the other hand is no joke either. He's got very limber arms and wrist articulation? You didn't even need to put that there because the weapons already go there, but you know, it's always nice to have that. And also, the, the that thing doesn't like to stay in put, but who cares? It's still really good as is, and the poses you can get are superior. Superior. Yeah, I know what I said. Shut up. And is it me, or does this guy take the robots in disguise gimmick and throw it out the window? Now that I'm being honest, none of these guys blend in. Maybe in the back though. But, as you can see on his arms and what I pulled off, he comes with two little fake battle masters, target masters, whatever you want to call them. You could put them on his hands, or you could put it on his other hand, or one hand. For a quadruple laser cannon or just put them on both and have some fun what do you want looks really good like that and now that we're done messing around with the robot mode let's just get on to some size comparisons here and this guy is pretty big for a deluxe here is studio series 86 jazz very lovely generation selects deluxe class tiger track hot rod and very very big barney it's kind of huge compared to these guys but let's talk about some of the greatest engineering I've seen in a really long time. And oh my god, that transformation is definitely an ache. Not a bad ache, just a ache. But this helicopter doesn't look as good on the ground, so we get a little peg hole at the bottom. And if you buy any Monster Arts figures, you get a stand with it. Wink, wink, Godzilla, yeah, pretty cool. And you can put them up in the air. I don't know, the possibilities are endless with this thing. And it's very fun to play with, but the size of this thing is it also... It's pretty good. Here is Deluxe Class Selects, Runamuck, Quiff Jumper. Okay. Now, oh, I think I've already said this enough. This is a great, great figure. And I highly recommend it to anyone who's looking to find something that's a standout in their collection. But that's all for me. We'll make it out. Come on, guys. I I'm totally Sunstreaker. What's the problem?